Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Phil and this is Samantha. Hey guys, welcome back. We got more Ren on the go today on the heels of the last one that we did, Money Game Part 3 was fire. Yeah, that was awesome. I think that's been my favorite one so far. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I would say it's probably my favorite one that we've done from Ren. We haven't done a ton, though. We've been working our way into this journey on the heels yeah. of that one, though. You guys were saying we have to check out the tale of Jenny and Screech. Yes. And um, so it's a long one. It's 13 and a half minutes. So uh, One thing I love about him, though, is his storytelling. So I feel like, you know, Hopefully we get more of that in this. Yeah, I mean, uh, he looks like With he's got 13 these... minutes. I'm hoping so. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably going to be the case. I think you guys, I think they were saying in the, the comments, comments that he's he's going in with a story on this one. Cool. So I'm looking forward to that. He's got the acoustic guitar out. We know he's a super talented guy. Yes. You know, he's playing the piano in the last one, showing that he is able to sing as well as kind of rap and, and all that storytell as well. Yeah, so, man um, of many talents. Yeah, anyways, we've got a quick little question for you before we get Pop started. quiz time. Question is which movie was Ren featured in? And if you stick around to the end of the video, Sam will give you that answer. Yep. So you guys stay with me till the end. Thank you so much for all the support on all our previous videos, guys. Really do appreciate it. If you want to hit the like button, leave us a comment. If you haven't subscribed, you want to join the journey that we're on. We got all kinds of music. We got comedy and sports as well. So we'd love to have you. If you want to just stick around for this video and never come back again, that's cool too. <laughs> Nonetheless, we hope to see you again. Though. Yeah, we do. I mean, Sam's a little more pushy, but you know. <laughs> anyways, you ready to get it going with Ren? I am. Let's do it. All right. Let's check it out. Quiet dark night in an empty street Somewhere at the city Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? Well, on the very same night in a different place There walked this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking ganja with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul as Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared Usually she was all right, but it was like there was something in the air A divine intervention Telling her to beware, maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sound in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it, bitch, are you listening to me? Ooh. Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite. Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night she tried to find strength to move but stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes what the hell are you playing now you playing games with me i swear to this is wild already i'm invested yeah i mean i'm just he always blows me away with his descriptions yeah he's, he's a really a lyricist yeah you know he's great at just what the way he says what he says yeah you yeah, know? i feel like even the way he like you said with his delivery like he's just so captivating yeah, he, so engaged. He, you know, his inflections do that really well, yeah. right? Like, obviously, his lyrics that we just talked about, but yeah. the way he kind of, he always uses it as an acoustic guitar, yeah. right? And like you said, we're so engaged and so immersed. But yeah. I just wanted to stop, like I said, to point out the lyric, lyricism for sure. Yeah. And uh, we got the backdrop with all this graffiti, which, you know, talking about what he's Setting talking about. Setting the stage for the yeah. story. Uh, yeah. And I think he basically said that they were in this place. Yeah, like, right? in a, yeah. So it's kind of giving you the visual to what he's saying with the story, yeah. right? 
to move but stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes what the hell are you playing that you playing games with me i swear to fucking god i'll slice the rosy off your cheeks you think i don't mean it go you don't know me the last thing you see will be a boy called screech reach with the sheath of the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath it was a quiet dark the night the in what? an empty street. The statue. What did she, what did he say? That could Sorry. bite through steel and slice concrete. And he swung possessed with the devil in his chest. And the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. Butter in her breath. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere. Mm. I think he's saying she like melted. Yeah. Like she was stiff. Like yeah, I got it the second time around. Yeah, I just yeah. didn't know what you were saying. <laughs> Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town. She knew this floor. Because she'd walked it about a thousand times before. I guess that she escaped. It's such a shame. Crazy talent. Before he gets going, I don't want to keep pausing it. It's just crazy too. Like he's using the acoustic guitar and normally an acoustic guitar, you would think of like a more of a love song or something like that. Yeah. More relaxed and yeah. Like and the mellow. way he's able to use this, the acoustic guitar with this dark yeah. story is yeah, pretty he's, wild. There's, he's like one of a kind for yeah. sure. <laughs> like no cuts again i mean there are a few but oh story it starts right at the end of the life of poor jenny clocked out like big ben this screech dear boy where did he go he melted into the black night just like snow Patrick man, let me in, please open the door I think I fucked up Patrick, really fucked up man, I'm not sure I got crazy Y'all are gonna kill me for, for whining this too much and stopping it too much But that was such a sick transition you know what he's singing? He's singing, then knocks yeah. on the door. And use the guitar and knock yeah, on Yeah, and it. then it all speeds up. I yeah. love his transitions. He yeah. Does, I said They're that fire. in the last one when he was. Yeah, doing yeah, that, he right? does really good transitions. I just like snow. Patrick, man, let me in, please open the door. I think I fucked up, Patrick. Really fucked up, man. I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I killed her, Patrick. Come on, man, I can't knock no more. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore. But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54. No refuge for our villain, for the bitter hands of fate. With something far more sinister in mind that does away. Dallas Cowboys jacket. Hey, babe, are you in? Now, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon
upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who said that's his foot free. Work in London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. This story is not going well. Whew. Oh my god, the creativity is just wild. That's so wild. Ah, oh, story, it ends. Right star. to the star. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless, and it's such a shame. It's such a shame. Okay, so we got Jenny and Screech, and now we're going into Violet. So, uh, I guess like a three-part story that we're getting yeah, into. Yeah, that's crazy, though. It's, it, it's just crazy to me that I forget that we're listening to a song. Yeah, because you know? you're so immersed in the story. It's a story and like a movie at the same time. Yeah. I love all, like you really showed off in that, in the Screech portion. I love the switches and the melodies that he has as well. Yeah. You know, obviously we know the storytelling is great and, and all that, but I think subtly he keeps you so engaged because he's able to switch from these melodies that are so fire. Like each one is fire, but each one is different. And yeah. just with the, the acoustic guitar again. Yeah. And then, you know, his uh, emotion and energy that he brings to the lyrics that he sang, you're just like, what's going to happen next? Yeah, I think on a first listen for me, it's challenging because I get so immersed in what he's saying and I'm wanting to know where the story is going that it's almost like I, it's like subconsciously registering like all of these other pieces of talented, you know, creativity he's putting in there. But it's like, I can't focus on that because I'm just so sucked into the story. Yeah, it's but hard I think, to catch everything. Exactly. But one. I feel like if I was to listen to this another couple of times and you actually actually knew the story and like what was coming and what to expect you'd be able to pick up a little bit more on like you know certain things like you know like him using the guitar as the gun right like yeah. stuff like that is like really That's creative wild. and it's like you see it and you register it but you're just so focused on the story that you're not like well let me stop and like think about that for a second right so yeah. i'll have to listen to this like five times <laughs> i want to know where we're going now yeah because um jenny and screech um are clearly both did no not longer. have a good ending to yeah. their story um but you know clearly there's more to it so i I'm guess like who's violet yeah let's let's find out
city, far from pretty. Two zero zero five. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. Rhythmic beeps and blood stains. She saw a lady weep. She's tired and frail. To Arms. set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. Did you, did you get that? What? I think what he was doing with the guitar was like he was rewinding time. Oh, okay, like go back going in back time. and... Yeah, yeah true. So it was like a clock going yeah, backwards. Yeah. That's cool. Sick. We must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tail. Silent girl grew up with violent starts. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night he took a tie but never left the room. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16. A semi detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme. Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks. She met a boy named Stevie, and he was a little prick. Violet was a silent girl, and Violet she fell fast. See, Stevie was a wrong, and the Isha knew how to charm her. Every night he took a tie, but never left the room. History repeats itself, he paint her black and blue and dark. She never stood a chance The devil comes to dance We just go so deep Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's tirade He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late And he stands by her bedside, she shakes But her eyes stay shut You fucking slut, I know you're up And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown blood. Bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detach, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always Bars. so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet! Silence. Fucking say something, Violet! Silence. Wait, say something, Violet. Not good enough. Not one word, she stays quiet. Bro, he's just blowing my mind. I like, know. This is so good. You know, the even bars, like, even like the cadence. Like when he just stops without the guitar at all, and he's just like... Yeah. basically like just just his voice yeah and like just i'm so engaged so enthralled with where the story is going but also paying attention to like i said the way he's delivering these lyrics he's and bars also like acting it out at the yeah. same time exactly that's what wow. i was just gonna say and um you know he's just you know able to you know get into these i i said while we we're listening to these deep like thoughts like you know what i'm saying like we're gone through this whole story but everything is so intricate of like we're not just learning about violet we're learning about where she started from mm -hmm. and where she's finished from and then how yeah. i assume all these little details in between yeah i assume there must be some you know relevance to jenny and screech yeah some correlation you know but we only got a minute and a half left so i don't know anyways we'll i've been out. engaged the whole way through but he's just blowing my mind he's yeah. so creative so sick so well done thus far let's see totally where agree Okay. 
London city, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor Violet broke her silence And she cried If I'm to die Right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed The lights went dim In London City Far from pretty 2005 A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Wow How do you just finish like that, bro? <laughs> Damn. So they, they were twins. Yeah. So he just killed Violet. his sister. Yeah. And they and that's wild. And then he he killed his sister and then died because he went after a police officer. That's on the, oh that's crazy and like all in the same setting and yeah. Whew. Yeah, it's nuts. Damn. Even just to think of that story. That's wild. Like yeah. And then tie it all together, in together with those interviews. Like not even talking about the musical aspect of it, right? Like just to come up with the story alone and then bring in all the musical components and all of like the acting and the video and everything. Like he's literally like probably one of the most creative people I know. Like, or I don't know him, but I know of. Yeah. And like to me, again, I, uh, you know, the deeper details of, you know, Screech is 14. Yeah. Right. And, uh, you know, both Jenny and Violet had hard lives type thing and how this all plays off of each other. And I think that's what he's highlighting in the story, yeah. right? How it came to obviously such a terrible ending in that, you know, all these things, you know, whether it was Steve or whoever was in the story, they all have repercussions. Like people's actions have repercussions, right? So then, you know, like Violet not being able to be there for Jenny and Screech ended up, you know, having them both go on separate paths that yeah. they didn't even realize. And then, you know, it ended up ending the way it did. Obviously, it's a story that was put together by Ren, I assume. Yeah. But um, the idea or the concept, I think, is revolves around how, you know, well, the ripple effect, right? Of yeah. One thing leads to another, leads to another. Yeah. And then this, you know, mesmerizing finish you to know the what? story. This kind of reminds me of a little bit, like not in the musical sense, but just like the creative ability to like take a dark story and like really have you engaged and have like all these intricate details that all lead up is um, Immortal Technique, Dance with the Devil. Okay, yeah. That's what that kind of reminded me of a little yeah. bit there. Like how like the whole, like, mm -hmm. you know, you start with the story and it all leads to this very end piece that you're like, what? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, for me, I, I, you know, initially thought something way different, just because like the twist at the end and the darkness of it, and and uh, the storytelling aspect. I actually thought of Saw, the movie oh. Saw. <laughs> you know, and like just because like they, there's always this huge. I remember like that was one of the first movies that. Uh, from like the horror side. I'm not a big horror film person, yeah. right? It's more of a drama, I guess, as well, right? But with that movie, I just loved it. When I first watched the first one, I was like blown away because there's this like twist of a twist so at the end. So many plot twists. And I'm like, yeah. wait, what? And that just kind of reminded me of, you know, this is how it's darker and, and it's kind of like horror in yeah, some aspects. Yeah, all these like plot twists. But then there's the big plot twist at the end. So that was pretty yeah. wild. Yeah, he killed it. Yeah, he's he's great. Uh, Ren did his thing again. Um, we'll give you that answer now to that pop quiz if you stuck around. Um, and the answer of the question, which was, what movie was Ren featured in? And the answer to that is... In 2017, he was featured in a movie called Unrest, and he actually had his song Patience uh, on the soundtrack for that movie. 
Yeah. So if you didn't know that about Ren, now you do. Yes. We know a little bit more about Ren from the tale of Jenny and Screech. Thanks for that recommendation, yeah, guys. It was cool. great. And uh, I think he's got, uh, you know, Sick Boy came out and it's been doing well. Uh, I think it actually hit number one on the charts in the UK. Congrats, so congrats Ren. to him. I'm yeah. you know, really uh, excited that he was able to go from where he was, really struggling on the medical side of things, to yeah. being really successful by telling his story and coming up with this creativity now that he has. Yeah. Make so, himself um, a very unique path being carved. Yeah. And I think there was a song called like seven sins or something that seems to be pretty popular off that we haven't listened to it yet right so um if you guys want us to react to that let us know yeah uh, but we've really enjoyed our journey with Ren thus far it's been great so thank you for getting us on this wagon I'm glad that you guys stuck with us and uh, glad we stuck with it and yes, me uh, too. hopefully you guys check out our next video hit the subscribe button and we see you then thanks for watching guys see you next time